Hi loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have a Virgo anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in and being here with me today. If you're old, thank you for returning and being a part of the community. And if you're new here, welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. If you're new here, know that I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So we're going to tap into your collective insights. I've already done a pre-shuffle for you for your oracle cards. We'll pull some tarot cards and get and clarify each of those and close this thing out. Okay. So in tapping into your energy, Virgo, what's happening during this time frame is I'm feeling like some of you are feeling disturbed by something or, or someone. Not sure how that's showing up for you. Keep in mind it's not going to resonate with everyone here. Okay. Um, but I do feel like you want to be left alone right now, okay? Like you you need your space to think and take care of yourself, okay? You, it's like you're putting yourself first in this moment. If you have not put yourself first, you need some space. And then I was hearing a viable decision. And I'm like, okay, so some of you are considering something else or someone else. And I asked, well, why? And some of you are feeling like you're tired of doing it alone, Okay. Oh, breaks my heart. Like you're tired of doing it alone. You, 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 I feel like you, you want to choose, you want to choose someone, someone or something that you just like, cause you just don't want to do it by yourself anymore. Okay. Some of you may consider dating this month as well. And then I'm hearing, um, you, you have an abstract, abstract view of someone, which then makes me feel like something is broken and it doesn't fit anymore. Okay, so that's the energy that I'm picking up in your energy, and that's not going to resonate with everyone. But let's go ahead and hop into your cards here and see what's coming up for you here, my dear Virgos. Let's start with your angel numbers here. Two cards that I pulled for you. If you're seeing the number, uh, the angel number 1212, this is about persistence. Okay, so there are shifts that are happening. This is about enthusiasm, gratitude, contentment, and new experiences. Oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. And I swear I didn't even read this before. I tapped into your energy. But like I said, some of you are going to be dating someone else. You're going to be choosing someone so that you're not doing things alone. But there's going to be an epic romance that could be coming up. So some of you are seeing the number 1212 often. Or you're seeing, and or you're seeing the number 0707. This is about compromise, okay? Self-awareness, forgiveness, professionalism, empathy, tenacity, and freedom. Let go of what no longer serves you. Stop holding on to grudges. Express your emotions and aim towards a compromise. Where there is a lack of understanding, it's best to just move on. The truth will set you free. And as I was started reading this, I'm hearing uh, this buzzing in my ear, <clears throat> which I feel like an entity trying to get my attention, which makes me feel like some of you may have someone that is watching. Obviously, we all have people, entities, beings, our loved ones that are watching over us. But there's someone that's trying to get your attention about something, and they may be trying to send you messages. You may be feeling like or hearing a buzzing in your ear, in your left ear specifically is what happened, just happened to me. They may be trying to communicate to you in some sort of way because I'm feeling like some of you are feeling confused or down and out, and you're just you're needing to take care of yourself, okay? Um, your a chakra that you can work on during this month is the crown chakra. So this is definitely focused on your divine consciousness. So your interconnectedness, expansion, oneness, light. This also reminds me, it's kind of shaped like the reproductive system. And it makes me feel like, you know, are needing to take, maybe you're needing to go to the doctor. Maybe there's something that's going on there. Maybe there's a pregnancy. Maybe there's things that's growing. But really tapping into that, but also peeling back the layers of some of the trauma that some of you have faced. That energy does accumulate in, accumul accumulate in the womb. Okay, so this makes me feel like there are layers of things that could even be karmic. Uh, karmic things that are um, that has been transferred over from past life, lineage, you know, your ancestral, your lineage, 
ancestry, your lineage, that are, you're holding on to things here. And maybe some of you are feeling stuck or feeling unsure, unclear about life and why certain things keep happening to you or patterns that you're, cycles that you're currently in. It feels like things are going on in the womb area. Obviously, for men, you don't have that. <laughs> You don't have a womb, but there's still things that are happening in the sacral area. So I feel like some of you are needing to tap into that unconscious, the universal consciousness in order to see what it is that you need to let go of. What have you been holding on to from your lineage that keeps putting you in this position of repeating these patterns that feel very uncomfortable? So working on your crown chakra is very important as well as your sacral. Um, and then working on your throat chakra. OK, so so that you can begin to express yourself more, be more assertive about what is what works for you, what doesn't, um, what you need help with, like just being able to speak your truth. So you feel like you are not doing this all alone. OK, self-control is important in direction. So working on your will, your will to move on, to move to move past something. OK, so although I although we pulled the crown and the um, the throat. The sacral is also very important for you, working on that womb energy here. All right, so a crystal that you can work with this month is jade, okay? And your affirmation is, I am incredibly lucky. I always have plenty of money with plenty of with plenty to spare. I love it. I love it. So let me hold some, Virgo, okay? <laughs> this stone, um, jade, can help you improve visualization of positive outcomes, okay? So meditation, life in, life, in, um, life visioning, you can hold a clear picture of that, a positive, for positive outcomes. This stone can help you attract good fortune and good luck. So if you've been feeling down and out in love or in money, get you a jade, okay? Improve financial status. This is this, this jade, okay? I, I, I need this in my life as well. Actually, I think I do have a jade or I may have actually given that one away. Um, I have a little piece of jade here. Active, and this will help act and activate your millionaire mind. So if those of you who are looking to go as, you know, solopreneurs or whatever, this stone can definitely help you activate that, that piece of your mind that's going to put you in a position for positive outcomes when it comes to being financially abundant, okay? A message that you can consider during this month, ask yourself, what do you need to release here, Virgo? What do you need to release? What are you holding on to that you know um, isn't working for you anymore? Um, are they just, or are, are, are they a viable decision because you just don't want to be alone? Like, you're just kind of like, oh, I'll just stay because I don't want to be alone. Or, you know, whatever the case may be for you, but what do you need to release? And for some of you, I'm feeling like it's a lot. There's a, a lot of layers that have compiled and um, you're needing to do some work. Some of you are needing to get with um, spiritual healers, energetic um, energy healers do, you know, massages and you know, any kind of body work that you can do that re that you're resonating with that's going to help you energetically peel back layers. Also keep in mind that one session does not do the trick. It is an ongoing thing, but it will begin to change your perception. And so then you are able to begin releasing the things that no longer align with where you're going. Your overall energy is the five of fire. And I don't like this because it's five of conflict. I mean, it's, it's, it's conflict energy, okay? It's about you competing, competing against other people. You feel bothered. Like I say, you're disturbed by someone. You're bothered by the details. Like it feels like you're stressed, Virgo. That it feels like any little thing that feels uncomfortable right now is just magnifying. It's adding to the stress, and it's make it. I'm putting. I'm feel like I'm feeling. I'm feeling like it is putting you in this. Um, what kind of energy am I feeling right now? I feel like it's. I'm. It's almost like a defensive energy where you're angry. You snap because there's there's so much that's piling up. The stress of all of the things. And again, some of you are going at it alone and you don't have an outlet. So I'm feeling like some of you are needing to get an outlet in order to um, really get through this. Let's pull some, your, let's, to, let's pull your spread and um, we'll clarify each of these. Okay, messages for Virgo, please. All right. 
I I did not like I did not like to see this. Okay. Mm. So we have the five of cups, the judgment, the five of wands, the two of swords, and the high priestess here. We're going to clarify that five of fire that we were just talking about. Why is the five of fire here for Virgo? Too many distractions. Too many things on your plate. I see why it brings on stress and depression and all of this, you know, conflict. Depression. Wow. The nine of swords. Depression, anxiety, insomnia, because there's so much on your mind, you're stressed the heck out, okay? Queen of Swords, and then we also have the Two of Pentacles. Some of you need to set some boundaries with someone, or you, you just need to set boundaries for yourself, because I feel like you're overwhelmed, and you need to get very clear about what's most important for you in this moment, because some of you are juggling multiple things here. You're juggling the family, your work. Some of you are juggling trying to start a new project or a new business, but you also have a family that, you know, or a person that you have to invest your time and energy into. Like you're trying to be all the things. You're trying to be all the things and that's, it's unrealistic, Virgo. It is unrealistic for you because you are slowly breaking. Okay. And I feel that very strongly with that five of fire. Some of you are, this is like a self-destructive energy. Okay. Which is making you snap. <laughs> on other people around you or like you're not happy in this moment overall is what I'm feeling. So you have to get in a place of getting clear about what's important to you, what is a priority to you. So you're not having to juggle because you're not just juggling two things like this two of pentacles. This is multiple things that you have on your plate. And so you're up and down. Your energy is up and down. Okay. I'm hearing it's not fair to you. You got you have to you're you're gonna have to get clear. Um, with someone or, you know, put your foot down with a boss, with a partner, with friends, with your children. It doesn't matter. Okay. But I do still feel with the Queen of Swords, like some of you are needing to, you needing to take a solo trip or something to just sort of recharge in a way because there's just way too much on your plate, way too much going on in your mind and in your environment. And it feels very conflicting um, and it feels very intense. And it feels confrontational for some of you because you're stressed the heck out, okay? <laughs> That's what's coming up for you as your overall energy. An obstacle that may, an obstacle or challenge that may come up for you during this month is the Five of Cups. So now we move from the Five of Wands to the Five of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. We were just with that Five of Fire with dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this could show up as anyone, or you could be in this energy where I feel like there's an, you're going to break down. Some of you don't even want to break down. But I feel like, I feel like you're at your tipping point, Virgo, where you're going to break down in some sort of way. Like there's, there's some sadness surrounding you. And so again, because you have so many things on your plate, you don't have an opportunity to feel. You just do and you go. That's what I'm feeling. So let's pull some clarifiers around this. Why is the Five of Cups here? For Virgo in the obstacle challenge position. Knight of Wands. King of Wands. Eight of Wands. A lot of fiery, intense energy here. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone that could be passionate. I'm hearing also a pushover. I, I'm, I don't know if that's for you or for your person, but I'm feeling that energy um, that is coming up. But again, it's so fiery that it gets you to the point of like, you've been so fired up that, you know, this five of cups, you actually do need to sort of let some tears out. And maybe some of you may be resistant to that. Um, but I do feel, I'm feeling from this three cards together, just in combination, like taking that time away so that you can recharge, but it's also a release for you. I do see like you taking some time away from everything breaks you down. Like, I feel like you're able, you're finally able to express yourself. And some of you, like you're going to, you're going to travel somewhere. Um, and, and some of you feel like you might need to be far away from home. In order to feel like you you don't have to pick up a phone, answer an email, answer a text, 
um, take a phone call, like you can just you you can shut it all down, okay? And that may be challenging for some of you who are on the go um, and who like to put their their head you put your head down and you go and you get things done. You need a charge. You need to deal with the grief, the sadness that is coming up. Some of you are feeling anger. You're feeling guilty. You, some of you are needing to deal with some loss that you have just recently faced as well. Like all of these energies are compiling in your combustion tank. Okay? And I, I feel like the obstacle or challenge is somebody's going to get the raft <laughs> of your tank exploding. Okay? So this is why it is... Uh, crucial for you to take a take a vacation somewhere and 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 power down from everything okay you need the recharge 100% you're also in a growing phase here that feels very uncomfortable for you virgo so things are happening the universe is you know things are you know, the universe is conspiring with you just know it's not against you so things that felt familiar and you felt comfortable with and things are changing now and it feels very uncomfortable with the change but this is your growing phase because maybe some of you got a little bit too comfortable okay that's coming up for you as well um i'm just going to say take a vacation because i i do feel an explosion from you coming up is very intense and and for some of you you may be taking it out on the wrong person okay it may be that one day where you just freaking snap and the person's like i only ask you how your day was going <laughs> okay that's what i feel like it's not even going to be towards the person who actually needs to hear who need who you need to set boundaries with you have to you got you have to take a little break away okay to let yourself grieve and mourn whatever it is that you're feeling disappointment despair it doesn't matter um it definitely feels like a heavy energy and it feels like you have been sweeping things under the rug virgo and not say anything you're just getting it done but there comes a point virgo that you're you're not going to be able to do this with grace anymore okay so where you're headed is the judgment card this is a card of problem solving but not only that this time away is going to help you awaken to things that you weren't seeing because you have been putting your head down you've been going this has been your role in something and you're just like well this is just what i do but no things are changing there is a grand transformation that is is occurring and i feel like it is interrupting your peace is <laughs> this it's disrupting your peace and it feels uncomfortable for you why is the judgment here for virgo some of you have been compromising for way too long Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. More fire energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This has something to do with a relationship or um, your family in general. Where I know that you want happiness. And in order to bring that happiness back, you have to take the time away. You have to you have to grieve what you've been holding on to. Because it's not just right now. It's things that you've just been sweeping under the rug for a while. Um, this could be months, years for some of you. This could just be past life stuff that it has followed you into this lifetime. But this judgment here, I'm also looking like a, a legal ruling. So, some, you know, some of you may be deciding to walk away from something um, and find happiness elsewhere because some of you may be tired of being a mother, of being a boss, being a wife, like whatever this is. We have the Queen, Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands energy here, okay? That's a very spicy. <laughs> you got water and fire creates steam. Like things are getting like boiling. Things are boiling up for you here, Virgo, when it comes to family dynamics or a um, or a relationship between you and your person. Like I, I feel like this may be things going on that in the home where there's going to have to be a change, um, and that's for some of you. That change may be deciding to. Um, put yourself first and walk away from this you know although I feel like you were once happy uh, you were definitely once happy in this but things are changing right now like you have to speak your truth and maybe it hasn't been your role to really say much you just do it you just know that that's your role and I feel like it's going to spark a little bit of um, conflict and a little disruption in your life when you start to say what you feel okay because you can't sweep this under the rug any longer let me pull some more energy from this. 
is you've been how you've been taking on all the things this queen like energy very nurturing lovey very domestic but i still feel like you have other things going on outside of this which is the reason why i feel like you're being pulled in so many directions and that you're a combustion tank i feel like you're seeing things now like you're growing and you're seeing things that you have been doing or you've allowed someone to be comfortable in and you have, you know, picked up the slack or whatever the case may be. And I feel like, you know, you're trying to find this energy of balance so that you don't pop off. Okay, that's what I feel. So that's where you're headed during this month. What's coming, what's happening in your near future? We have the five of wands. We have another five. So you're seeing, if you're seeing five, five or five, 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 Know that this is the number five is connected with with conflict, with change, confrontation, those things that could be coming up. But this five of wands is and know that when you're seeing five, five and five, 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 you can look that up. It is a universal change. And yes, it does feel uncomfortable because the universe snatches things from you that feel that feel that you are comfortable with having. But some some of you have been asking for answers and sometimes it shows up in the way where the universe will just remove it remove it for you okay if you've been asking for clarity around something you've been asking for strength and you how to deal with a situation or re to reveal things to you the the universe will reveal it i'm telling you they will the universe will reveal what needs to be seen for to um what you need to see in this moment so that you can move past this and it definitely feels uncomfortable okay so what's happening in your near future is some conflict you clashing with people or a person but it's you know obstacles that that are coming up for you where you feel like um you feel competitive you're going to feel like you're it feels like a struggle it feels like you're going to be in this this phase of being defensive about something you know um i'm also hearing from this as well as like someone defaming your character in some sort of way and i feel like it's just uh it's like another snap moment you have page of cups Two of Cups and Page of Swords. This is, you know, this is a lot of, <laughs> when I look at the page, I'm just kind of like, um, I'm feeling like an energy of just underdeveloped. It's someone underdeveloped in some way. Someone is coming off immature in, in different situations or they're just an immature person in general. But this is someone that you love in the center of this. <sighs> okay. Let me feel into this, Virgo. I'm hearing I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I feel like someone has put you through something. I feel like you were on the same page and you're not anymore. I feel like your dreams and goals are different. I'm getting this energy and this is not even what the cards mean. I'm just I'm feeling like there's just a, a difference. Some, someone is not who they were. Maybe they got too comfortable because you took care of so many things and they just kind of kind of took a step back, took a seat and, and let you let you run the show. But you're tired of running the show. You're tired of doing it alone is what I'm hearing. OK, because it feels like some of you may be in a relationship, but you're doing it alone that's what i feel okay whatever this is however this shows up for you it's definitely someone that you have a strong connection with the two of cups there's a lot of love there i don't feel like there's love loss but i do feel like there is a difference in how you love so there is a level of love there but it, it feels different to me it's feeling different it's not smooth sailing anyway uh, anymore i feel like it's the i feel like you're clouded you're clouded in some sort of way there's a lot to be said. There's a lot of thoughts on your mind. You don't feel free. You don't feel happy. It, it's 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 a struggle. It's a struggle for you that is coming up. And and I and I, this struggle is the inevitable for you. But just know that the universe is working in your favor to help you problem solve and awaken to this and do what's best for you. Set those clear boundaries like that Queen of Swords that we saw here earlier. Okay, your advice is the Two of Swords. And I'm feeling like take off the blindfold, speak your truth, gain the courage to talk about what it is that makes you feel uncomfortable. Because right now you're, it's feeling like a roadblock, but there's information overload. I'm hearing some of you like, I just want to get a divorce. But I also feel like you also need to talk about this before you make an abrupt decision. Okay, because you have waited so long 
you've waited so long to talk about something and it feels like you just can't do it anymore but some of you may have a fear of actually speaking your truth to someone so you just rather just end it <laughs> that's what I'm feeling like I'm just I'm just gonna end it um, but there is a lot of indecision about what you should do you feel like in this moment you're feeling like I'm just I'm stuck I'm emotionally blocked and I don't know exactly what to do like insecurities are coming up um, that unhappiness again is coming up you don't feel peaceful you're very rigid in this moment it's just a difficult time that is coming up but let's let's see oh ten of swords justice oh oh god Virgo I just got the chills Ooh, I also want to cry because <laughs> I feel like your energy is you know spirit is saying it's time like there's been a lot that you have gone through although the 10 is like you have been down and out you're feeling down and out you've been betrayed you've been backstabbed you've been talked about you've been kicked you've been you know you've been rained on you've been all of these things and the advice the justice is being truthful about what you have experienced and understanding that it may not be meant for you anymore you don't have to hold on anymore and I think that's where some of you are grappling about with the two of swords of trying to wait it out to see if things are going to change you're in this place of like indecision you're in denial about what you need to do but some of you are going to make the decision to walk away and maybe get some sort of assistance to help you walk away from this so if you're married there could be a separation or a divorce coming up for you um, you could be walking away from a job you could be leaving behind a business whatever this is I feel like it has been heavy and it's time for you to um, get some assistance on where on, on moving forward because the six six of swords here is you're moving you could be relocating you could be moving out um, whatever this is you're moving away from something that has felt toxic that's what that feels like okay you're moving away from something so some of you may are physically moving out of a home moving away from something that you just like I don't want to put any more into this because <clears throat> I I'm not happy that's ah okay so your advice is to seek legal counsel to get to a conclusion where you can move to calmer waters okay so some of you may be in a position where if you're dealing with someone Virgo that is immature you're gonna have to get authorities in, involved if you're dealing with someone who's a more mature and wise and knowledgeable and who is willing to you know see to it that things are fair and just then you may be able to do this on your own okay so you have to discern what works best for you and your person your final outcome is the high priestess Pisces energy here I feel like you are going to get to the point where you're going to see clear and you're going to know I did the right thing for myself I listened to my intuition I finally listened to me instead of listening to other people or listening to the person I finally spoke my truth I finally feel balanced I finally feel connected ace of Pentacles five of swords the hierophant the hierophant and the high priestess balance wow balance but look at this two number fives again so number five five again is very prevalent for you if you're seeing five five or five 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 that this is the inevitable change that is coming up for you some of you are already in this energy some of you are in denial some of you are procrastinating and making a move okay but final outcome is when you let go of this energy there's opportunities to come in yes there will be a little bit of conflict but I do feel like there will be a coming together mind body and spirit some of you may even come together with your person to come to an agreement about something and I feel like you know it's not it's not going to be without a challenge with the five of swords in the center okay so someone may turn them their back on you you may turn your back on someone else 
but you're going to do whatever it takes to win. And I do feel like there's an opportunity for you winning. Ace of Pentacles here is, is a financial opportunity that is coming in for you. Okay, so if you are deciding to um, take something to court, this is in your favor. It's in your favor. And I, I do feel like maybe it will bring you together in some sort of way if you need to co-parent or you're needing to split assets. But whatever this is, some of you may even just decide to go to counseling together to work through your issues. You may not decide to leave. It could show up in, in, in various ways for you. But at the end of the day, you have to be happy is what Spirit is saying. Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel like you walk away. I feel like you walk away with, um, like it's like it's fair, like it, everything is like it's fair and just, and there's a there's a mutual understanding. Like this doesn't work for us anymore. We're constantly battling. Okay, so that is your final outcome, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. If any part of this resonated with you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like this spread, this setup, if you want to add anything else. Whatever feedback, I appreciate it um, as long as it's positive okay, and kind. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hit the all notification bell. Like and share this with your family and friends. Good luck to you if you are going through something right now. And find your happiness. That is most important, Virgo. Take care, guys. Many blessings and love and light to you. Peace.